Welcome to The Gender Rebels, a question and answer podcast that explores life outside the gender binary. I'm Kath, a cis woman and ally. And I'm Faith, a trans woman. Special thank you to all our Patreon supporters. Hey everyone, I'm Kath. And I'm Faith. I think. I don't know. Who knows what's what? (laughs) Welcome to The Gender Rebels. Hey Kath, do we have any patrons to thank? We sure do, other Kath. (laughs) Um, we have so many patrons, and uh, because um, Kath's computer recently died with four Gender Rebels episodes to be edited on there, uh, we're trying to get our hard drive back, but if you might have already gotten thanked, so you're going to get thanked twice. Mm-hmm. So, Ariana C, or Ariana C. Ariana C, come sit by me. Anahi, or Anahi V. Anahi V is a bumblebee. I don't know. Don't get stung by a bumblebee. LX. L. L is in like L fanning. L fanning. So LX makes me want to have sex. Gross. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Zoe K. Zoe K. I like to play. Zoe T. Zoe T is all right by me. Jessica L. Jessica L is a bat out of hell. Kristen J. And that's Kristen K R I S T E N. A lot of ways to spell that. There are. Kristen J believes in the American way. They could, they might not be American. You could still believe in the American way. they're Iranian Iranian and they hate the American Satan? Then I might be wrong about this. Yeah. 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 You might. All the letters rhyme with A, don't they? (laughs) Except for H. Okay. Caleb A. Caleb A, let's put on a play. You already did play. When did I say play? Come out and play or something like that. Those are two very different meanings of the word play. All right, fine. Joe H. And that's Joe, J-O. J-O-H. H. While Kath thinks about that, Chelsea K.R. Chelsea K.R. can always drive my car. Andrea or Andrea S. Andrea S. has a pretty new dress. Or Andrea. Andrea, Andrea, Andrea. Did you talk over my rhyme? Yeah. Desiree M. Desiree M. And Bethany. Give me a second. I'll delete out the pause while I think. It sounds really good. If you ever listen to a goddamn episode, you know that I come up with these like instantly. Oh, okay. Desiree M. Desiree M is a sparkling gem. Perfect. All right. Bethany C. Bethany C is taller than a flea. Sure. I always think of those tall, tall fleas. I'm sorry. Do you think Bethany C is shorter than a flea? No. I think fleas are long and not necessarily tall. They're a horizontally based animal. They still have height. Why are you they so do, racist? But the height is to the shoulder. Right, I'm going to be and working. They have like eight shoulders. I'm working on Faith's racism. Six shoulders are flea. Yeah, they're insects. Okay. Y'all, we have two extra special people to thank because they're super awesome. Because we told our patrons the same thing. Something happened with my hard drive. Lost Gender Rebels episodes. We, I was having a meltdown the other day. Alexandra L. and Claire both spoke up and said... Maybe I can help. Y'all, you are so super awesome. I I leaned on one of my other techie friends and we're going to figure it out. He's going to lend me his hard drive reader. All is not lost, I hope. I'll keep you posted. Um, if we lost those episodes, I also lost a month worth of work that I was doing on that computer. So, you know, it'll be a big loss. Hopefully, Hopefully we'll get not. it worked out. But thank you so much for offering to help Alexandra, Elle, and Claire. Thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. You. And let this be a reminder to everyone to back up frequently. I don't back up as frequently as I like. I have external hard drives. And every time I'm like, oh, I haven't backed up in a month or so. I should back up. And then I go to back up. And it's like, December 2018 is my last <laughs> backup. So, yeah, back up frequently. Put it in your calendar. All right. That's a good thing. Work, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a Gmail calendar thing. At work, we use something called Spider Oak Automated Cloud Backup. I'll be setting that up on my home computer once everything's sorted out. I've that learned my lesson good. the hard way. The same lesson that everyone else learned mm-hmm. in 1992. I get it. I get yep. it. Hey. Uh, any other um, any other Gender Rebels news? Yeah, this is really interesting, fun news. Our patrons heard already, but I wanted to let you all know that I have another podcast. During all of this work from home, pandemic, coronavirus bullshit, I proposed to my colleagues where I work, how about a podcast? What a great way to keep everyone connected without anyone having to physically be in the same room. And they loved the idea. And you can check it out now. It's available at zuckermaninstitute.columbia.edu. Or if you want to go right to a page that has all of the episodes right there, it's zuckermaninstitute.podbean.com. They're all there. 
go have a listen. Subscribe if you don't hate it. If you want to rate and review us on iTunes, that would sure make me look good to my bosses and maybe let me keep doing podcasts even after everything is back to normal. So check it out. It is very different from the gender rebels. Very, very different. It talks about how the neuroscientists I work with are now working on COVID-19 related projects, but it's still pretty cool. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Thanks, babe. Of course. And really, uh, really there's short links, episodes. links down below to that. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, we have a cool question for today. Yes. What's the question? All right. Hey, Kath and Faith. I absolutely love your show. I'm a 17-year-old trans woman presenting as male, living in Redacted. A, a state, yes. Mm-hmm. I was wondering more about the transition of names that Faith went through. I'm currently still called by my boy name, but have my girl name saved for later. And it's what I used in this email, and she did. Anyway, I would really appreciate knowing how long the name transition, and if there were any holdouts as far as family or friends go, that just won't use your correct name. Again, I absolutely love your show and look forward to every new episode. Thank you so much. And that was sent in by Alaska, Alaska. which is the prettiest Good name. name. I love it. Yeah. All right, Alaska. What do we tell her? Well, so how long did it take? That's the big thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, if there's any holdouts as far as family and friends go. Yeah. So basically there's three sort of parts to this. One is going to be picking your name. Yes. Choosing that name. Uh, the second is going to be like legally changing it. The paperwork. Yep. And the third is going to be integrating that into your life. And the people around you. Yes. Yeah. So the first part coming up with your name. That is actually not the hardest part. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fun part, right? It's the funnest part. Um, obviously, this is such a personal choice. And I think it's something that you should think about. And some people, maybe like Alaska, just know. Mm-hmm. Like they find it and it's perfect. Mm-hmm. And they're like, yes, that's it. Um, different people, sometimes people take a long time to find something that works for them. Mm-hmm. Or they're not sure about something or, you know, nothing quite feels right. Mm-hmm. And they might take years to figure out the best name mm-hmm. for them. They might go through different iterations. It's not uncommon for transitioning people to be like, I'm Billy Jean and then I'm Jean Billy and then I'm Jean. Jean. And, then you know, it's it's like totally fine to go through a few different iterations. Obviously, make up your mind before you head down to the DMV or mm-hmm. the circuit court or we'll get to that. Yeah. Figure out before you get to that point, because that's kind of the, it's not, obviously you can change your name legally as many times as you want. Ooh, but someone did that as an art project. She changed her they? name like 11 times. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, we'll get into why that's a pain in the butt. But there's nothing <laughs> stopping you from doing it multiple times. I think uh, one of my favorite things, some people say, look through the phone book. What? There's not really phone books anymore. I know. Yeah. This is like an older trans woman. Also, phone books only have last names and first initials. No, they have first names. Do they? Okay. Yeah. And so, remember when, like, everyone, like, we said, like, not, like, right now, the idea of, like, having your house and your name be, like, your address and your name be, like, public and your phone number be public is, like, horrifying to us now. But they used to, like, publish that and just hand it out to people. So everyone would have it. Everyone would have it. Didn't you say that there were, oh, back in, like, old magazines in the 50s, they would show kids? There was a naked child. And they showed their home address. In Life magazine. (laughs) And this child's full name and home address. And the child was <laughs> naked and like on a diving board because boys used to have to swim naked. There will be a link down below to the episode of The Dollop, which is another good podcast, uh, where they talk about this. And it's bananas. Yeah. So if you get your hands on an old phone book, that's an option. Mm. Um, One of my favorite things, and this is what someone else recommended. I don't know who. I'm going to credit TS Roadmap with this because that, that's a TS Roadmap is a, a great resource. Um, their stuff is d- does tend to skew a little older. I think an older trans woman was the one who wrote it, and it does tend to, I think, skew more um, MTF. But I mean, it's even it's still T- a great TS roadmap is the old terminology. That's it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roadmap, yeah. So it's it's older, but there's still there's still good re- resources there and historical information. And yeah, and so one of the things, or I found this on a forum, but whatever, I'll credit TS roadmap. But uh, was go to your birth year and look for the top, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 names of your birth year. For girls. 
or yeah, or, or, boys, whatever, or whatever, 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 yeah. And so you can <gasps> obviously, if you're non-binary, this is probably not going to work because they're still very binary with this, like oh, top boy names, top girl names. Mm-hmm. Uh, so pick the top baby names, like for. Kath and I, born in late 70s, early 80s, Carter babies, as mm-hmm. they call us, mm-hmm. President Carter. Um, there's a lot of, you know, everyone in my school, the homeroom was like, they'd take role and it'd be like Jason S, Jason L, Jason R, Jason G, Amy A, Amy C, Michael Amy M. G, Amy G number two. Michael R, Michael P, Christopher L, Christopher W, Christopher Jennifer J. A. <laughs> So it was like you get every cohort as they as they say has a lot of really common names and so you get you can it helps kind of blend in a little bit. That's like one thing. If you want to blend in like I wanted to just have a blend in normal name. I also made sure it wasn't people I knew. Mhm. And I also made sure that it wasn't like uh people like a names I had associated with people or characters right. or right. anything. And Hence, uh faith. Yep. And I also realized that I liked the name because I had picked several care, like I had written characters in books with that name. Oh, fun. And I was like, huh, I must have had an affinity for that name earlier mm-hmm, on. Mm-hmm. And so that's that's one method that I think works really well. Obviously, other people are just going to pick a cool name. But like, mm-hmm. I, I like the cohort thing because names do wax and wane mm-hmm. in popularity. And so if you're 17 and you're picking your name and you pick like you know, some really old name like Pearl or Gladys, (laughs) Gladys, it's going to seem weird. And the same thing, if you transition at 65 and you choose, you know, Brooklyn, which is heaven spelled backwards. Yeah, you're it's going to kind of come off as weird. Like I remember Caitlyn Jenner is like 70 (laughs) or 60 something. Yeah. And like Caitlyn and spelled it like a 12 year old Caitlyn. And I'm like, yeah, no, but like it's whatever. It's her life. I mean, no, who I'm gives not, a shit? But I'm, not I'm just saying, I'm yeah. not interrupting you just to defend Caitlyn Jenner. Okay, fine. I'm saying, like, if you pick Matilda or Pearl or Flora, that's that's got a cool old timey feel, which is fine. Um, but be aware of that if you want something that is quote unquote normal and blends in, then yeah, a, a good way is to look at your cohort. Is Although all our hipster friends who had kids in the last few years came up with like 19th century names for them. There's like Thaddeus Cornelius. We've got a Wyatt. Amelia. A Matilda. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Which are where cool did these names? names come from? I know, but it's just, it was such a weird, everyone came up with these like names from 1890. And, uh, <laughs> anywho. Uh, so yeah, names wax and wane in popularity. And that's something to consider. Um, but you can also just pick a cool name that you like. It's your name. You're mm-hmm. going to be living with it. Uh, you're the one who's got to love it. And I think picking your name, tricky. You definitely want something that you really like that's going to stick, that's going to feel right, that's going to sound right. Um, I remember, gosh, there were a few names that I like. Oh, Aaron was a name that oh, I yeah. really liked. Mm-hmm. I've always liked the name Aaron, E R I N, mm-hmm. and I didn't pick it because it could sound like Aaron A A R O N. Yep. And so there's a couple that I didn't pick. Uh you probably know this already, but you want to be aware of the nicknames. For example, I think the name Candela is beautiful. It is the scientific unit of measurement of brightness. Isn't that awesome? You know what your nickname's going to be, Candela? Hey Candy. Ugh, that's gross. So yeah. be yeah, obviously you want to be aware of that. I, 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 one other name that also came up in this was Amanda mm-hmm. for an MTF. And I'm like, but it has a man right oh, in there. Oh, man. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's also tricky. And again, there's probably trans girls named Amanda who are having a blast. And Candela. And, so, and Candela. They're all hanging out together. Yes. Yeah. Once you get your name, that's like a easy ish thing because this, it's about to get really fucking hard. And, the hard part is getting it legally changed. Mm-hmm. And that is going to, of course, vary based on where you live. Mm-hmm. And in some places, it's super easy. Mm-hmm. In some places, you can change your name legally at the DMV by just being like, hey, here's my new name on a form. Are you serious? Yeah. In places like Georgia, Alabama, they've got, they're like much more relaxed. You don't in- have to do the whole city hall judge no. newspaper it depends. Wow. Okay, okay. Again, I say this like I'm basing this off like 20 years ago. Okay. So 9/11 might have changed. That. <laughs> I understand with deed polls in the UK, it's a little easier as well. What's um, a deed poll? I'm not sure. <laughs> Perhaps our UK listeners would 
like to write in and let me know the details of that or you could google it um but i know it's a little easier in uk you change your name by deed poll in the us uh in new york for instance i had to go to court and there were i still remember i had to get i counted the stamps it was 14 different stamps i had to get at various things and you had to you had to file paperwork and get it stamped by one person and get it stamped by a second person. You had to go pay someone else, but to pay someone else, you had to fill out the paying form and then you had to get that stamped and then you had to get your receipt stamped and then you had to get bring it there and you had to go to the judge and then the judge would stamp it again. I, it was just, it took about four hours. It took about, I think, three total visits to the DMV. Here's or no, I'm sorry, to the court. It was like a circuit court. Yeah, actually, the courthouse, yeah. Yeah, it, and uh, it he- took, sorry. Here's my tip for getting through a bureaucratic nightmare like this. Pretend they're trying to make you quit and you're going to make it. And if they say, do this, do this, do this, yes, ma'am, I will do that. If you wait in a 10 minute line and you get to the window and they're like, you're missing your blah, you say, I'll go do that. Come back because they are waiting for you to get mad and storm out and quit. And you're not gonna. Oh, yeah. I mean... I, especially, like, with this one, it was, like, the windows were open from 10, I think, to, like, noon. Mm-hmm. And then they closed for lunch for, like, two hours. Mm-hmm. And then it was, like, they're open from 2 to 4.30. Mm-hmm. And it was crazy. And and, it, and we were waiting, like, 45 minutes at one window, and there were two people! Me and one person ahead of me. <laughs> Just waiting. Because they want you to give up and go away. Yeah. So it's it depends on where you live. I think New York's because New York sucks. It's probably one of the worst. New York doesn't suck. New York sucks in many ways. Um, but, and among them are the fact that for some reason all our shit is just way harder and more difficult and more of a pain in the ass. And, the, and the buildings where it's kept are filthy and poorly maintained. <laughs> so that's probably true everywhere. But I feel like New York has like an extra special dose of bureaucratic bullshit. Yep. Um, so, yeah, it's going to depend. Uh, you're gonna beyond that. You're gonna need to change if you're 17. Awesome, because you probably don't have like utility bills, bank accounts. Mm-hmm. You have to change all of that stuff. So the next step after getting your legal name changed, I had to advertise it in the newspaper, which mm-hmm. is stupid because there exists a newspaper that does nothing but publish like court stuff that no one reads. The idea is it's supposed to be public, so that if any, if you're trying to escape debt or something someone's gonna read this newspaper see your name change and be like ha thomas johnson has put in a bid to change his name to bill smith and the person thomas johnson owes money to is naturally going to see that in this newspaper that they read every day and it just feels like a scam because i think it was like 75 dollars to place this ad Mm -hmm. oh just it's a relic it's it's this it's holdover this weird relic. relic, and I had to send I had to send certified letters to the to like four different govern like federal agencies and stuff. Federal it was, agencies, yeah. I had to send it to Social Security. I had to send it to Homeland Security. And again, I was told also that I got the pain in the ass judge who makes you do that, <laughs> and that other judges are much less giving a shit about the extra stuff. So I got the do everything judge. And then I had to bring all that back and get that stamped and bring it back to the judge. Uh, just And when the get judge through it. tells you that, you say, yes, ma'am. I will see you soon. The judge didn't even do anything. She was on her phone playing fucking Candy Crush the entire time. You don't know if she was playing Candy Crush or Farmville. She was playing something on her phone (laughs) or just texting with people. But she was literally on her fucking phone the whole time. The bailiff did everything. And anywho, so that's name change for you. Yeah. And we're just go in there patient and focused and committed and bureaucracy bring it on because i will do this and then accept the fact that you're going to need to make a list of every place that has your name in an active record Mm -hmm. and that could be social security card i'm saying this for americans i'm sure other countries have their own iterations of this social security card passport (laughs) driver's license library card uh insurance your um your power bill your phone bill your Mm -hmm. and your like accounts every place you have an account and 
That's a lot of steps. If you have a list from when you moved last, I made a list of everyone I needed to change my address with. So it was all the utilities and the credit card and my work and, you know, family and friends. Like there was a whole long list. That's a good place to start. Yeah. There are a couple of places that people tend to forget notifying their names. Magazine subscriptions. There's... This is one part of name change. For the next two years, you are going to be coming across things that you forgot forgot. to name change. And it might be internet accounts, you know, but here's the other part. There's going to be other things where changing your name is fucking impossible. Mm -hmm. PayPal was one. They kept saying, PayPal kept saying you have to fax in various forms. I did. They wouldn't change it. They never acknowledged the forms. I would spent time on the phone or email with them and finally just deleted my account and started over. Fuck PayPal. Which sucks because you you get some like ease of use with a PayPal account that I had had since like 1999. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then start had to start over, which meant I lost a lot of the ease of use that Mm -hmm. you get. I still to this day have shit I can't change. There's a system at my work Mm. like we have an adp system i hate adp what does adp stand for automated data processing okay they do a lot of hr stuff um a lot of companies use them for their hr stuff i still can't change my fucking username on one of these things uh i try i've tried and gave up and then my bank on something else my bank wants me to do a w9 Mm. for interest payments or whatever and it keeps giving me this thing with the old name on it even though I have changed my name on that account, and I refuse to sign the thing that has my old name on it. Mm-hmm. And and so every time it comes up, they're like, we need your W9. Click. I close it and go back to the other thing. So it's like, but it pops up every time I go log into my bank, and I'm like, I fucking refuse to do this. I'm done. I'm done. And so, because I'm not going to call about it, mm-hmm. but um, so... That's another thing. You're just going to keep having these. You're going to have school records. I went back and changed my transcripts. That, yeah, that can be an involved At my school, because I was at that one point, I was thinking about going to law school. And glad I did law school. But uh, <laughs> not. I had like two or three lawyers at my work be like, you should be a lawyer. You really should be a lawyer. And, and I was like, huh. And they're like, just take the LSAT. Just take it, you mm-hmm. know. And, you know, I'll write you a letter of recommendation for law school. And wow. Unfortunately, New York has a very shitty rule about law school that once you start you have to finish within like two years so no part-time so no part-time which is a very shitty rule that actually preclude precludes a lot of working class and poor people mm-hmm. from being able to get law degrees didn't because... the great mayor fiorello laguardia attend law school at yeah. night i don't know when this yeah i don't know when this law happened it's yeah. a really terrible law but essentially if you want to go to law school in new york you have to do a full-time thing which means quitting your job rich kids only please exactly either rich kids or student loans and it's such a terrible rule and everyone i've mentioned it to is like oh yeah that's really bad mm-hmm. so anywho i could i was gonna do like a, you know night school part-time i'll do like four years and get through it or five mm-hmm. years or whatever and get through it and unfortunately i could not new jersey i still have to look into that I, i'd you actually looked into i'd actually looked into studying for the virginia bar where you don't have to go to law school Oh, God. <laughs> sure. I mean, you. there's actually a several states. Virginia's the closest one yeah. that uh, you don't have to go to take the bar. Anywho. Um, yeah, so there's still things like that. I still haven't changed my birth certificate mm. uh, because, again, I was born in, on an army base, and that's just an army base that subsequently closed, mm. uh, which has made it really difficult to try to track down anything. But you've got your driver's license and your passport. Yeah, I've so. got some basic stuff. Okay. So... That's the next part is going to go through all that bureaucratic stuff and then changing all your accounts, all your everything. And then the final part is getting people to use it. All right. And this one. Is that easier or harder than the bureaucratic stuff? This one was easier than the bureaucratic stuff, but a little frustrating Mm. at how slow some people were. Mm. And in-laws... My extended family or, um, you know, coworkers I don't work with every day Mm -hmm. were the ones that kind of were slow and, or coworkers, I'm sorry. It was not really that I didn't work with every day. It was different coworkers, but um, that were very much like, oh, hey, Bill, 
I mean, ugh, Faith, you know, mm-hmm. it was a lot of that. Mm-hmm. And that that probably went for another six months or so. Mm-hmm. And I kept, but because like we saw your family, your extended family, your, your, my in-laws, your actual family, mm-hmm. uh, like, you know, once a year or twice a year at most, mm-hmm. it took them a little longer yeah. to catch on because yeah. they just weren't used to it. Uh, but again, they, they're not doing it maliciously. Right. Um, so this is this is more complicated than just my name was A and now it's B. It's bundled in with coming out. It's yeah. bundled in with what are a person's preconceived notions about sex and gender. I had a I had a coworker who was having a hard time. Not a not in a mean way, just mm-hmm. having a hard time. And I finally like whipped out my driver's license and I was like, it's my legal name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think that's one thing you can say to you know if you've got family. Especially, you know, jerks in your family who are like, I don't buy that you can change genders because the mass of squirrels who runs the universe, (laughs) it all makes the same amount of sense. The mass of squirrels that runs the universe has dictated that gender cannot change Mm -hmm. or whatever they believe that has no basis. But they're fine with changing Mary Smith to Mary Jones as soon as she gets married. That is a non-issue. That is fine. Yeah, Yeah. non-issue. But... um. One of the things, uh, yeah, you can just be like, this is my legal name. And whether or not you agree with anything, it's my legal name. Mm-hmm. Call me by my legal name. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a big one. If it's not your legal, legal name yet, obviously you can't do that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it's like, how hard? I mean, the, one of the things I, I hated was a lot of companies have a rule that they won't call you by your, like, if you transition, they're not going to call you by the, your new name until you legally change it. And meanwhile, there's a bunch of TJs running around who are like Thomas Jones. Mm-hmm. Oh, he goes by TJ. Or, you know, Michelle, whose first name is actually Katie and goes by her middle name, Michelle, and mm-hmm. no one gives a shit. Mm-hmm. But the moment someone transitions, they're like, sorry, we can't call you that unless it's your legal name. That's not your name, honey. Yeah. <laughs> so... That's one of those things that, like, you're going to encounter jerks mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in all fields, in all walks of life, in all moments of life. There are jerks. I don't care jerks. if you work with clergy. I don't care if you work at Disneyland or Build-A-Bear or a soap factory or Zeppelin Repair. Wholesome Town <laughs> dot gov or what i don't care there will be jerks there will be there's I, jerks in the trans community too yeah yeah there's jerks everywhere but there's just jerky people everywhere yeah and so you're gonna encounter them and there's nothing you can do about it, but be patient yeah and just keep asserting this is who i am and Ask your friends, ask your supportive friends, ask your supportive family, ask your supportive coworkers, your cool coworkers to be like, if you hear people mm-hmm. using my old name, can y'all please correct them? Because I keep trying and, and I feel like if... They need to hear it from a cis person. Exactly. Yep. And that's stupid, but that's often how it is. And then the other thing is, I would say, you need to be patient. Hey, oh, so much of transition is patience. It's slow. We have to be the most patient fucking people in the world because transition is slow and progress is slow and change is slow. Mm-hmm. People are going to screw up. Well-meaning, good-natured, friendly, accepting people yeah. are going to keep screwing up. And you have to be patient and not get mad. And again, this is a thing that like... If I, this is always the thing, if someone is like, oh, that's a really cute dog, what's his name? And you're like, oh, it's a she. They're like, oh, I'm oh, sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Let me keep, re- let me refer to your dog with the proper pronouns. But like so a trans pretty. person, you know, it's like, and they're like, wait, I'm confused. Mm. I'm like, uh, you- uh, no, my eyes are telling me one thing and yeah that's the end of it as far as i'm concerned so it's you know uh, and non-binary people have an extra special hard time with this oh yeah and uh and again i apologize to my non-binary friends because i've screwed it up too Mm -hmm. and you know well it's because they they them is not as common a thing and so it's it's harder and i've actually tried to get in the habit of just using they them for everyone that's yeah, uh, because I think it's better. Yeah, because why the fuck? You know, what are we speaking French? Where the door <laughs> has to be male and the key is female and the table is neuter. And Canada's a female. Yeah. Anyway, so yes. you just have to be patient, and it sucks. Um, and again, the trans people who have told someone seven times 
to, you know, call them by their actual name, please. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, this is my legal name or use the right pronouns. And then, you know, the eighth time and the transgender person sighs or something, the trans person is considered rude. Rude. You know, it's you have to be patient. You just have to you just have to deal with it and get through it. And it takes time. Transition takes time. This Mm -hmm. is the one thing I wish, you know, I wish I had really known because I was told before transitioning, oh, transition's slow. It takes time. And I'm like, mm-hmm. you don't quite grasp. <laughs> How slow. Glacially slow. slow. You're like, you're transitioning and you're watching snails just speed by you. And you're like, <laughs> gee, these continents are slammed together pretty fast. You know, it's it's just that way. It just <laughs> takes time. It takes so much time. And like now I've, I legally changed my name four years ago. Mm. And uh, all the fear I had about changing it is like, no big deal now. But uh, it was at the time very fearful and I just kind of had to do it and Mm -hmm. get through it and it was scary, etc. But now it's like, I would say that first six months was the hardest part of getting people to like call me by the actual name and Mm -hmm. stuff. And Mm -hmm. now it's, now it's fine. Yeah. I I don't, I, I still have a few computer systems and my damn laptop your operating system got I reinstalled can't. it got reinstalled and the person who reinstalled it before i could say no no, no 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 don't use that name use this one put my old boy name in there and i cannot i have tr- i've googled it i have youtube bit i have looked into various things and i cannot fucking rename this computer we have to throw the every computer out. single thing on it the file name starts with bill dot d dot whatever and i'm like i cannot fucking rename it i have tried so hard maybe our computer people who if they're listening could be Mm -hmm. like oh i know how to deal with that but yeah that's that's in the i i keep coming up with these things Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. the stupid thing at work the adp um website like won't fucking rename i try to rename my I, i can rename my account no, I'm sorry. I can rename my username, but I can't rename the account the name. Account. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a system that digs. Yeah. yeah. And so it's just like I, I get stuck with all these old relics and you're going to be stuck with those too. And there's certain things that you just can't. Ultimately, you're going to just get so tired of it. <laughs> and mm-hmm. maybe, maybe during, say, a pandemic where you're like stuck inside and you're like, hey, Let's maybe try to fix that website. Let's try to maybe get into this hard drive again and see if we can solve that. Mm-hmm. And maybe you'll find the energy to do that. But a lot of times you're just going to run out of energy. Yeah. And hopefully with people, you don't because people need to behave. Yes. Uh, so wishing you best of luck, Alaska. Good luck, Alaska. You picked such a beautiful yeah. name. I'm seriously gobsmacked. It's mm-hmm. amazing. I'm, wonder- I'm curious if you named it after the John Green character. Oh, there was a From Looking named... for Alaska. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was about the state. No, no, it's a girl named Alaska in the book. All well, right. let us know. And uh, I hope let this us helps. let us know how the name change goes. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you guys listening had a frustrating or fun or weird name story, mm-hmm. you can always send it to us. We'd love to hear it. Especially any tips, any shortcuts, mm-hmm. any coping mechanisms, any, oh, there's this loophole in Oklahoma where yeah. if you just buy a new car and have new insurance your driver's license automatically something like that uh did you get one of those little uh name tags to wear for a a month you know that's hello my name is hello my name is and laminate it because you'll be wearing it a while Uh uh-huh uh so yeah thanks for listening everybody all right everybody alaska we will talk to you soon all right everybody Bye. bye if you've enjoyed this episode and want to help us keep making great content go to patreon.com slash gender rebels. Please leave a five-star review on iTunes and send your questions to questions at gender rebels.com. Music for the gender rebels is by Jasper the Colossal. Link down below or download them on iTunes. For all our episodes, visit gender rebels.com. Gender rebels is a comeback sync production. Copyright 2020. All rights reserved. And to all you gender rebels out there, Keep rebelling! rebelling.